the Quran on the atoms. Prior to the Quran, philosophers thought that the atom was the smallest and divisible component of matter. However, today we know that this is false. Atoms are composed of electrons, neutrons and protons. And lately, it turns out that those neutrons and protons are made of quarks. However, 1400 years ago, the Quran contradicted the common knowledge of the time. It stated that the atom is not the smallest part. In the Quran, whatever you may be doing and whatever portion you may be reciting from the Quran and whatever deed you may be doing, we, Allah, do witness when you are doing it and nothing is hidden from your Lord. So much as the weight of an atom on earth and in heaven not less than that, no more, but it's written in a clear record on the preserved tablet. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known that the atom is not the smallest component of matter? Until 100 years ago, it was thought that only man and animals were made in pairs, males and females. However, the Quran said that everything from which the land produces, men and what they could not see, were also made of pairs. Today we know that all matter is in pairs. Matter and antimatter, electrons and positrons, quarks and antiquarks. In the Quran, glory to him, Allah who created in pairs all things that the land produces and their own kind, humans, and other things of that they have no knowledge of. How could a man who lived 1400 years ago have known that matter is in pairs? <laughs> خائنين وعين نجمك لا تخ